A beautiful time on television it is. My name is Evan Sunokogi. You're welcome to our program, Parliament and Governance. Well, the issue of cash withdrawal policy is one policy that perhaps you may want to say that a lot of persons have actually called for. But the way it is now, there is public outcry against uh, the policy. Well, recently, but some few days ago, we understand that uh, the Nigerian Senate has to make a recommendation to the Central Bank of Nigeria to uh, reconsider and adjust the cash withdrawal limits. And uh, this is uh, in response to public outcry, just like what we said a while ago, against the cash withdrawal policy uh, in the country. And of course, uh, we're told also that uh, the Senate, however, uh, did not set the limits, but made some proposals, and, uh, they, and thereby leaving it for the National Assembly for the Senate to make the adjustment. Uh, similarly, we also understand that the House of Representatives has not made any recommendation, but has summoned uh, this, uh, the, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, that's uh, in the person of Gordon Emefile. And of course, we are told also that the CBN has set the cash withdrawal. Remember that the CBN has set the cash withdrawal limit to be 100,000 naira weekly for an individual, and of course, 500,000 naira for group or corporate organizations. That's per weekly. And of course, uh, the, the thing is already generating reactions, counter reactions here, here and there. Well, for us to look at all this issue, uh, these issues today, we are so privileged to have Barrister Dr. Awo Usaige. Sai, so welcome to the program Parliament and Governance. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. All, of yours. All right, now, so let's get your immediate response to uh, this new policy that the CBN has uh, you know, talked about. Thank you very much. I, <coughs> the new policy in itself is not, is not bad as it's turned, and I believe we really need to have some regulations around the way we, you know, finance, our finances have been um, expended and all of that. We know the, 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 the policy of the government at the stand now that we should ensure that we, an individual withdrawing 100,000 weekly and corporate entities with a frame of 500,000. Honestly, I think it's okay to an extent, but why we would this far from government's position is that we don't have the the, 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 the the internet banking platforms and the tokens and means of transferring money working at its best, you know, in times like this, most of the UTI period like this, a lot of persons want to withdraw money, they want to transfer money, and it's constituting a whole lot of, um, you, know, you know, slow pace at which this whole uh, movement of money online, uh, you know, runs, and that in itself could hamper businesses. And a lot of people believe this is peak time for their businesses, for entertainers and so many other organizations. They want to showcase all they are doing and they want to do patronage, they want to event planners and all whatnot. And now money is not forthcoming. So how do you now do it? So it's also give, uh, it's creating trouble in the business circle and that is not good for the country. So that's basically what I see. I think the government ordinarily, you see most of the time we complain like this is that we really don't test run things. We just come up with policies that you've not test run. There's no way in the world you start up a, a policy without trying to know whether there are some hiccups that it could generate. And if there are, what are the remedies? And that's why we went to school. So by the times when we see the things that's going on, we know all this well that the mobile apps, and you know that was very, we have a lot of um, schooled persons within our circle, aged people and all of that, in as much as they have said, yes, they could make them use the, the platform where they could transfer money, if children of theirs send money from them. I heard that over, uh, you know, the, the other your sister stations talking about it and all of that. I said, yes, in as much as I do agree. But is it working? I know when you are out of this country, you, oh, some of these things work very well. And then um, why this period? Somebody wants to transfer money, you are unable to do that. You want to receive money, you are waiting, and job is piling up. The, the, the designers cannot do their job, the entertainers cannot do what they ought to do, DJs and all whatnot. All other, you know, in times like this, they need their money. And that's basically a big challenge. So I honestly believe that um, if it's not working, I think the central bank should have a review on what they are doing and they should apologize to Nigerians in clear terms. Because it's enough of all this back and forth we are here having. You know, you have a policy there that is not working, and yet you just pretend like you don't know. Nobody is being punished for wrongdoing. I think that's a big problem. Okay, we understand that uh, the cash uh, limitation withdrawal, uh, the cash uh, limit withdrawal is supposed to start from 
uh, January 9th, uh, 2019. Uh, but uh, if fillers are anything to go by, we understand that uh, some banks are already implementing it right now. If you go to some banks in Benin City, where we stay here, and of course, mm. perhaps some parts of the country, uh, they will tell you that uh, as an individual, uh, you know, customer, you cannot withdraw more than a uh, hundred thousand naira on a daily on, on a daily basis. That's one on one side. Now, uh, just uh, let's uh, quickly take a short um, uh, pause so that we we'll see some of the video uh, footage. Remember, I told you that uh, we are looking at uh, what transpired, uh, you know, on the floor of uh, the Nigerian Legislature, to precise uh, the Senate, where the Senate had to set up a committee uh, to look into uh, the cash withdrawal policy as uh, being, uh, you know, talked about by CBN. And of course, we understand that various, uh, you know, reactions and counter-reactions were said in that uh, uh, meeting, whereby the uh, Senate Committee on Finance and uh, Banking had to uh, look at issues. We'll see various, action, various reactions and counter-reactions, and of course, we'll be right back. Above 100,000 per week, you pay processing fee of 5%. The question is looking at the inflation trend in our country and the average cost of living of survivor of every I mean, family in Nigeria, 100,000 per week, then POS withdrawal 20,000 I mean, daily is, is, is uh, uh, terribly, the, the, the threshold is going to impact. I'm not oblivious of the fact that the committee had made recommendation on adjustment, but this is not enough. In the report, there is a clause that says massive consultation will be held between now and the 9th of January. Mr. President, that's only two weeks. And there is this festive period in between. How can you have a massive consultation in, in those two weeks? The timing is wrong. Um, again, Mr. President, the CBN approved POS, um, POS uh, operators and registered them and took monies from them, no matter how little. And now, those people can only do so little. It took so many people off the roads. It took all our employ unemployed graduates off the streets. Now, they're going to be thrown back with this policy if an amendment is not done. My fear is that the fixation on cash is really, really, uh, uh, you know, having a negative impact on the rural economy. Because uh, we're talking about uh, cash in circulation, if you look at what it's only about 2 or 3 percent. If we continue to attack 2 to 3 percent of the money that is available out there, how do we affect inflation? If what they are saying is true, Mr. President, by end of this month, with what they have mocked up, we should see at least a 7 percentage point in inflation rate. If it doesn't happen, then we should take out inflation as one of the reasons that we are introducing this uh, capital policy. Our commerce, I don't think, is ready for this. And uh, our economy may not take this shock. And uh, as such, Mr. President, I want to say that uh, now that there's, this, uh, uh, there, there's the issue of uh, uh, screening of nominees from the CBN, I just thought that I should uh, speak about it so that uh, uh, Nigerians are aware and then let us look at what we need to do. I would advise that these two deputy governors have been in the CBN for the last four or five years. So they are part of this system. They are not new people. When they come for screening, this is supposed to constitute a major... Just hold on, please. Just hold on, please. Let me talk, please. This is supposed to constitute a major issue to be raised before them. You can come with a motion, but I want us to be properly informed and properly guided. Most of us, if not all of us here, have not had an, an engagement with that institution. We, we are not happy with what it is, but when we debate, we should have solid grounds. And I believe that at the moment, pass, my personal opinion is, if we want to be cashless society, we should take time to be cashless society, not to jump at once into being cashless. Most Nigerians will be out of 
uh, business. All right, you're welcome one more time. The program is Parliament and Governance, and today we are looking at uh, the recommendation that uh, the Senate is making on one side and uh, also to the House of Representatives, uh, you know, the recommendations uh, that uh, have to do with uh, uh, the cash limitation withdrawal that has uh, been uh, proposed by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Of course, you know that the CBN has said that with effect from night on January 2023, that individual uh, cannot withdraw more than a 100,000 naira on a daily basis. And of course, uh, corporates or group, uh, in, uh, group entities cannot withdraw more than 500,000 naira. And of course, we also understand that uh, for uh, POS operators, that POS operators cannot give uh, more than uh, 100,000 naira on a weekly basis. And of course, more than 20,000 naira per day uh, for customers that uh, intend to withdraw uh, you know, money at uh, the POS stand. Now, uh, Barrister Wosage, we yes. just saw some of uh, the reactions that uh, mm -hmm. some of the members of the National Assembly, the Senator presides now, had to give to, uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, new policy now. Now, don't you think, uh, you know, because from the way things are going, it appears that Nigerians, there's no way Nigerians may not react because we are in, in an era whereby the CBN is... Uh, you know, trying to introduce Nigerians to the new Naira node that has just been redesigned. Yes. And of course, we're also talking about um, uh, you know, a situation whereby you have to limit the, the amount that you withdraw. Mm -hmm. So don't you think that this is too much, perhaps, too, too much of a thing coming up at the same time? Thank you very much. I, I like, it's not, it's where we, when planning and we, we plan things properly and we do it right, you know, it's getting it right that is the issue here. It's not whether you could have a lot of things running for you and if you really know what you are doing, like I said, it's just like you, 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 are, you are saying don't pull so much money out. Make sure you use the platform for transfer, which is good. It will also stop a lot of, you know, we have so much money. Like they said, 80% of the money is not controlled by the central bank, which is wrong. It's not healthy for a country. And I think this is a good way to go. But before you do this, I'm not against it. I'm so much in support of it. But my challenge is... You can't just get started when you've not test run. And you should find ways to make it work. You know, we've had issues like the, the, the electricity issue in Nigeria. Over the years, we keep complaining, year in, year out, we talk about it. We talk about it. We're fixing it. Government come and go. You know, we just talk about it. We have not really decided on what to do. This thing is not rocket science. It's working elsewhere, and it can work here. So if they want to make this thing work, they can. Ah, you know, Mr. Godwin, MFLA, the CBN is very, very erudite. I know very well, and he, he understands how these things work. But why? What is the brain behind this? What is happening? You know, it's like we, didn't, we don't even know what we're doing. So if it's not working, then what do we do? We put a hole, we hurt it, and go and test run and check and do the needful and come back. Nobody is saying you must do it. Why, why January? Why this? issue of, why are we, is, is it because of the election? I don't know. With Nigeria, is more than the election. We are Nigerians before whatever, if that's their reasons. Are you trying to say uh, that uh, perhaps it, it, the senators are reacting uh, uh, because uh, they seem to be the first exactly. set of to be affected? So obviously, because right now, like I said, I support it mm. in as much for that, you know, people, a lot of money lobbying back and forth and illicit money everywhere, you know, on banked money money that are not linked to anywhere, hiding somewhere. And these are monies that will not make the country move forward. I don't support that. But again, if you want to cop that, you will not be killing. It's like throwing away the bath water and the baby. You must understand that aged women, mothers, fathers, and people that have no access other than going to, you know, hawk on the streets, and at the end of the day, the little money, they put it in the bank, mm. and hoping that I'm going to get some money to you know, and you get to the bank, you're stranded. I will go to the, I will go to the bank, I will get money anytime I want to get money. That's normal for me, as I'm going into any bank, I will get my money. But I'm talking of the ordinary person on the street that will get to the bank. You will spend hours, spend the whole day there, and they are frustrated. I met a woman sleeping with her baby. I went in, I was coming out, I was wondering, what is it? All she was trying to do, nobody is granting her access. Because education is not their one and she doesn't have the strength and maybe he, uh, she's, not, um, she's not buoyant enough. And, you know, she, nobody's going to say anything. We're just looking at her, madam, just stay there. Wait, 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 we'll get to your turn. And, uh, you know, you, you, you're frustrating the people. 
I think government is all about inspiring the people and leading them aright. This is what this is a challenge. So that's what I'm saying. I, I hold the central bank governor. You know, I, I believe I, I blame him because he is he, the he, you know he plays the place the pipe at the home. You should know what to do before you come up with this. Now that is like this. Yeah, but the CPN, the, the CPN governor is not uh, just like what people say in law that yes. uh, somebody runs ultra via the constitution. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the uh, Senate uh, members, one of the Senate committee members, uh, yes. said that uh, the CBN governor has not uh, fouled in the eyes of uh, the law as far as this is concerned. I mean, by CBN uh, Act, establishing mm -hmm. CBN now, the Act establishing CBN, uh, says that CBN has a right to want to do this at any point in time. We are not but, but what we are saying is that, uh, you know, for a kind of a policy that uh, will be harsh on the people, mm. uh, don't you think that the CBN needs to look inward uh, more? That's what, what we're saying. saying. The point I'm making is this. It's just like, will a court convict anybody mm. without hearing the person out? You definitely want to hear. If it's a criminal prosecution, for instance, that person must be Prove, it must be proved beyond all reasonable doubts. All reasonable doubts. The judge sits and listen carefully, look at the laws all there in back and forth, and be satisfied that this person, you know, if there's any iota of doubt, it's the whole prosecution process is thrown away. So what you're saying that what now, I'm that trying to say now, should hear the like CBN they, they say we are looking at the law. Oh yes, the CBN have right to do this, but again, you owe the people the duty of care. It's not just to do something and say, well, I have the right. Yes, you have the right to do that. Nobody is debunking that. But the truth, or rather, the duty of care, are you there for yourself? Is it just to have right to do what is not working? Then who sanctioned you? What, what, what's the, what, what happened to you when you have done what is not working? It's like I bought a car, and the car is not working. And then I'm still saying, well, I have the right to go get a car. The car is not living, it's not, it's not living to its expectation or it's not being utilized as it stood at the time. Mm. But what I'm saying is, if you know this is not working, you know, just get back, shut it down and go back. You know, that's how you re-strategize. You don't wait and say, well, it's not working, I've done it, I have the right, the law, will not, I've not run foul of the law, I'm okay. Then how about the, is the law not made to help the people? So this policy now, do you see it as a policy that will work for the CBN and of course Nigeria as a nation? It will work. It will work. It will work if we are ready to do the needful. No, when you say if we, let's look at the system because we are trying to... When I mean we in that context, I'm not talking of the Nigerians, name. I'm talking of those in the, uh, saddled with the responsibility. Because okay. I will not be blaming the ordinary man on the street that he doesn't know anything about it. When I mean we, the win contest, it's directed to the CBN and those that are running this whole yeah, transaction. But, 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 uh, from what the Senate members are saying now, yes. it appears they are trying to uh, carry the aggregates of uh, the feelings of Nigerians. Because um, uh, just like what you were trying to explain a while ago, a lot of Nigerians, uh, let me use the word, live from hand to mouth. That's the truth. We saw it during the... Wage yeah, during the COVID, we saw that. You understand? So for people that probably, they don't even have a bank account, okay. you know, uh, for somebody that has uh, workers to pay, you go to claim. Yeah, uh, exactly. He has more than uh, twenty exactly. workers to pay on a daily basis. Yes. A basis. And of course, you tell the person that he must not take uh, above. And and, and they will not believe that really Oga don't want to pay us yeah. because he's a big man. Mm. Oga have money, he doesn't want to pay us, and it's almost Christmas. I've not bought my rice. I've not bought my chicken. I'm not going to celebrate this time. Why is Oga wicked? Whereas Oga is not wicked. Oga cannot go to the bank to get money. That's the problem. And people could team up to beat up. Not that a guy cannot go to the bank, but a guy is not ready to pay the, the, what it will attract if he gets more than the stipulated amount. Because that's what the CBN says, that if you are to now, get more than 100,000, yes. you must pay a certain percent. How many, how many people can assess that money? Mm. It's not even the certain percent. If people will be willing to pay to get the money, you want to even get it. That's what we're saying. I agree that you said, let's not just, it's on principle, it's like that. Mm. But you go first, just like this. Okay, you could do your mobile app and do you can do some limits set on it. Do the first one. Before you know it, it's not working. And they tell you it's network and then you have to wait till the other day. I did a transfer, uh, you know, from some amount of money and I was there like one, I, I felt like so silly with sitting down uh, and it looked like I was lying. And I had to, you know, think alternatively to, you know, say, so I'll was get back. Delivered. It wasn't delivered. It was when I had gone home. The other day, they're not told, oh, they have received it. Can you imagine that? It looked that I lied. 
I, I felt ashamed of myself because I couldn't say I've done something and um, it's looking, like, looking at me in a you know, very funny way that uh, we have not seen it, but uh, we, we believe you have done it. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. That's basically what I'm saying. All right. Now, uh, the video we saw a while ago, we saw some of uh, the Senate committee now on finance and, uh, uh, you know, but on finance and uh, banking actually suggesting that uh, instead of the CBN giving 100,000 Naira, the CBN directing the commercial banks now uh, to give 100,000 Naira to an individual, it should be 500,000 Naira, you know, to an individual, then of course uh, 3 uh, million uh, to uh, corporate entities. Now, uh, if CBN at the end of the day, maybe CBN hacking to this suggestion, okay. uh, you know, do you think it can maybe douse uh, some of the dust that this whole thing is raising now. You see, the, the, the challenge is, like I said, we need to have proper plan and structure. Now, we have more persons collecting 5,000, 3,000, 4,000, as it were, more of them. Those guys coming to pick up 500,000, they will walk into the bank, and those guys that want to pick up those 10,000, 5,000, 15,000, want to get there, will be stranded. That's my challenge. Mm. You understand? Now, like I said, I will go to the bank and get money. You will go, I will go, I will get money in the bank. I will walk into any of the bank, I will get my money. Yeah, but that, that's not, that shouldn't be a challenge because that well, now becomes a problem of, of the banks. The banks are not saying yeah, that. That is what, and now I, I want to say the bank are also, you know, you know I, I would all respect to them. I want to say they are also, you know, collaborators in this. Maybe to keep money within the, you know, in the bank, it could be a strategy. Yeah, that, that, that seems to be one of uh, the Because intentions. now they tell you, it okay, now, because you said now though. it's going to be January. Why are you implementing now? No, the, the one that is going on now, I don't think because uh, maybe, uh, because the whole thing looks somehow... It's not clear. It's not, you don't somehow. even know who to talk to. You, you know, that was why I, I asked a while ago that... Um, how do we add up everything? We have the issue of the, the uh, Naira that has just been redesigned. Nigerians are trying to, trying to get, used, uh, get to used to the new Naira. I've not even seen the new Naira <laughs> notes. I've not seen any one of them. Uh, Nigerians are trying to get used to the new Naira notes. And of course, you also have a situation whereby you go to the banks now. This is U-Tide period. Now mm. You go to the banks. The banks tell you that, so, we, sorry, we cannot give you more than 100,000. You get Whereas it. the CBN has told us that this policy is going to start to be in effect from January. That's exactly 9th. what we're talking about. Who is being punished for doing wrong? They will tell you, well, is the order of, you know, order from above or order from wherever. Who? He said, I'm just working here. Who gave the order? Nobody. Just who gave the order to the shooting of the NSAX folks? Nobody. No. We are still waiting and looking for. These are some of the issues we are talking about. If you as the leader, the CBN governor, who seem to be the one that's holding sway for all of this, what you should do is to ensure you find solution and check. It's not just to sit down there and make policies and then if things are not working. I remember one of our very um, good politicians of the late B.J. Okunda, bless memory. I will not forget when they said there were no petrol. At the I remember him going round. He will not announce. He would check them. And then he would check. And then if you are found to be, not to be selling because you want to hike the petrol, he would tell, come on, let's, and they'll seal up the filling station. And it worked then. So these are some of the proactive measures that the CBN governor should put in place. Not sit down somewhere and then say you have done it and the problem that is relating around the country, you should set up special force or tax force as it could, look around and see how you could, check what they are doing and sanction these banks. They are under your control and so that they can attend to Nigerians and do the right thing so that we will not be having elderly and aged folks stranded in the bank just because they don't know how to fill the teller. Okay. Now, what do you make of what uh, seems to be maybe layman's way of looking at it now, uh, that uh, the reason why politicians, I tried to ask that question a while ago, mm -hmm. that the reason why politicians seems to uh, be reacting now is because they are probably the worst hit. I mean, we're on the verge of another election. We mm -hmm. all know what goes on during an election. Okay. And the CBN has told us that uh, one of the reasons why this policy must, uh, must uh, come to stay is because it's going to checkmate the issue of vote buying and all that. Ah, come on. What do you make of it? I, I don't think so. There are other ways you could get that done. You could do it in kind. You know, it could be it in properties and personal and, and agreements and um, lawyers are there to draft. You could write some. There are ways to make it work. No, but we're talking about a group of people now. Uh, yes. you know, individuals that maybe you, you may have to attend to them. Maybe a hundred people. Mm. Uh, you try to make them to vote for you. You cannot be making that. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you could do that. There are ways they could also be settled. Mm. You could give them some food items.
you could convert it to rice and, um, you know. Okay. Some All right. So uh, as, we, uh, as we, you know, round up now, uh, let us look at, because uh, uh, we need to guide against something in this country. The CBN has told us that by law, uh, they have every right to bring out policies like this. Even the National Assembly has also said that by law, the CBN can do something like this. Yes. But the average Nigerian probably doesn't see that way. The average Nigerian on the streets probably sees it that he or she ought to be consulted first before you bring out any such policy. Now, are we going to look at a situation whereby perhaps we may want to go back to our constitution to try to amend so many things about our constitution so that policies that are of public interest like this uh, you may have to seek the opinion of the people first before any governmental agency well, uh, may want to do something about it. I don't, uh, in as much as I understand from the perspective the people are talking from, but again, it's not in the duty of the people to be expecting the, the central bank governor to seek their, no, you don't do that. Because at times it's like trying to curb, if the government, have, if the central bank governor have announced have an issue, you know, a lot of things would have gone, you know, gone wrong. Mm. There are some money such as, you know, that cannot get to the bank anymore because that's exactly what, that's a good result that it has yielded. So telling the people will make them get prepared. Or trying uh, to seek for their opinion. Opinion. No, you don't need to seek. Leadership is not like that. You decide what to do. The leadership has to do with the people? It, yeah, no, no, right no. When, I, when, I, when I seek their consent, there are ways, there are different dimensions. Mm. In issues like this, when it borders on monetary policy, it's not for you to seek the people. No, they will say we don't want. And we don't, you know, people will come. They don't even understand what you are saying. Yeah. Let alone seeking. What's the purpose of this? I know. Okay, eighty percent of money is in the hands. It's not within the central bank it's control. It's not in the control of the central bank. Yeah. How do you make? What do you make of that? Big All trouble. Right. All right. So uh, because of time, <laughs> so much time spent on this uh, uh, program today. Uh, you know, time is so short, and yet it can be so very long, too. I want to say a very big thank you it's to Barry Stan, Dr. Thank you. Uh, Patrick Awo Saige for finding time to come on thank the show today. So me. let's uh, see what happens. Uh, the CBN has only given their recommendation. They have, they have made their recommendation. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, it is not in any way binding on the CBN. That's uh, right. So uh, the Senate has made their recommendation. It's not binding on the CBN. So it is now left for the CBN to hacking or not to hacking to That's correct. Uh, the, the recommendations made. All right, so my name is Evan Sunokuge. On the same time, on the same program, Parliament and Governance. Bye-bye and God bless.